I have a very, very deep love for myself. And when you have a deep love for yourself, you find it is very easy to love other people. It's kind of like keeping a piece of dry wood next to a blazing bonfire. It's bound to catch. Of course, as is typical with love, it's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to really experience it. You have to feel the love before your affirmations can mean anything. You can say, I love you a million times. I love you, I love you, I love you to, to yourself. And these affirmations do help. But if there are shadowy subconscious guilt complexes and things you haven't forgiven yourself for in the back of your mind, the words might just roll off you like water off a duck's back. You might not trust the words completely. How could you? Why would you? We all can have these subconscious guilt complexes, even if nothing's ever really happened to you, because this is how life often unfolds. So there is being, and then there's what we do. There needs to be another step of love experienced beyond what you've done. The good things you've done, the bad things you've done. And that taps into the ground of being. Experience empathy for the infinite, this inherent ground of being who must make joyous mistakes on its path to self-realization and wholeness. A river doesn't need to forgive itself for taking unexpected turns on its path back to the ocean. And neither should you. But we are humans. We have the lower chakras to deal with. We have a different layer of emotional guilt and resistance to cognize in ourselves. And ignoring it and just rolling affirmations in our head, again, might just make the affirmations roll like water off a duck's back. Realizing that all of you, including the shady bits, are a natural part of your nature coming into healthy self-awareness. That is the path of self-realization. Then it's as easy to forgive yourself as it is to forgive a baby putting its hand in the cookie jar. You can laugh at it. Then you can stop taking it so personally. Then you can stop taking it so seriously. Then you can drop the rigid anger. Then you can objectify the pattern. I'm looking at it. And if I can look at it, then there's an it and there's a me. Then you can accept it. Then you can forgive it. Then you can love it then you can begin to love all of yourself. Then the fire is stoked and the dry wood will ignite when others come close to you, even if they do you wrong. You go through the same process. You forgive them. You see their pattern. You accept them for it and you love them. They are the ground of being reaching for the joy of wholeness and the light of truth in the soul, just like you are.